<clears throat> to start out with, we have the foot control that plugs in over on the side. We have the power cord that has its own plug on the side as well. And this is the knee lifter. Now the, the knee lifter plugs in right down here and what it does is it gives you a hands-free ability to lift your presser foot, which is really handy when you're doing something like free motion quilting. Okay. Now we have these other accessories here that come in a little bag in your machine. To start out with, we have the quilting bar. Now what this is good for is to sew parallel lines of stitching. So it fits right back here in the back of the foot holder, like that. You'd sew your first line of stitching, move your fabric over, follow that first line of stitching with the quilting bar and do your second line of stitching. And that'll give you parallel lines of stitching. It's a really a nice feature. Okay, and then we have the auxiliary spool pin. It fits right up here on the bobbin winder. There's a little felt that goes on it. And that is for spools. If you're gonna do two spools of thread, like for twin needle sewing, I'll show you what twin needle sewing. Now this is on a different machine, but twin needle sewing is where you use two needles. This machine will actually do um, this kind of stitching. So a twin needle would be, um, let me show you quick and fast what a twin needle looks like. Here we go. It doesn't come with your machine, but you can use this and you'd use it for sewing two lines of stitching. So you'd have two spools of thread and then of course your single bobbin thread down there. So that's what this is for right here. Now the felt is so that when you're sewing and you stop sewing, your spool doesn't continue to spin. That's what that, it acts like a little break. Okay, then we have the straight stitch foot, and so you can only stitch straight right there in the center needle position. It's good for some fine fabrics. Then for buttonholes, this does make a one-step buttonhole, so we have the buttonhole foot. I have another video on how to do that. This is your overcasting foot, so there are several stitches on here that you could use for overcasting, stitch and overcast. Overcasting helps keep the edge of the fabric from fraying, so this is going to help keep that edge from curling up as you're overcasting, as overcasting foot. This is your zipper sewing foot. Now zipper sewing is a uh, sewing technique, so I'm not going to show how to do that, but just know that you can put this on either side so you can sew next to the teeth of the zipper if that's what you want to do. Okay, then we have our blind hem foot. Now this has got some quite a bit of adjustment that you can do depending on how thick your fabric is. An example of blind hem would be on, like on this fleece here where I've done a blind hem stitch and you can see you can't see that stitching at all on this side. That's what a blind hem is and this is the foot you would use. This is also good for doing top stitching on the edges of like um, Oh, collar and cuff, you could put the edge of your collar and cuff right there or and do a nice even distance between the edge of your collar and your stitching line. And you can adjust it with the little hand wheel. Okay, this is the open toe foot. Now this is really nice for like a stitch in the ditch quilting where you're going right exactly on the well of the seam. This is also good if you have a particular line that you're trying to go for because you can see right where the needle goes. This is your quarter inch quilting foot. From the edge right here to where the needle is in the center is a quarter of an inch. So as you're sewing, you watch right here to keep the edge of your fabric, your quilting cotton, right on the, along that edge as you're sewing and you'll get a nice quarter of an inch. This also has marks here. I don't know if you can see those, but you can start like a quarter inch away from your edge or stop a quarter inch away from the edge here. That's what those marks are for. And then there's one right here where the needle uh, aligns. And this is your free motion foot. Now, you would have to take the ankle off in order to get that. These others have these uh, bars here for uh, Quick change, this is where you'd actually take the foot holder off and, it, and put this on. This part goes above the needle bar, so every time the needle goes up, the foot goes up. So that's how you get your free motion quilting. You'd also want to lower your feed dogs while you're doing that. Okay, now we have the a multi-purpose tool. We have a brush, but it's also a seam ripper. I like to have the cap on the 
<clears throat> seam ripper when I'm using it gives me more to hang on to. Plus, when you set it down, it's not going to roll away. We've got a little bit of a magnet there, but it doesn't want to roll away because of these lugs there. That's a really nice feature. But keep it covered up when you're not using it. Then we have various screwdrivers. We have three different screwdrivers. This one is your kind of your all-purpose one. This would be great for taking the foot off the foot holder off because it's got uh, plenty of torque. It's got these little wings here. But if you're taking off, for instance, the uh, screws here for taking the needle plate off, and I have another video on maintaining your machine, this is the one you'd want to use because it's nice and short. This one here, you would use this for adjusting your bobbin tension. Now, normally you wouldn't need to do that, but if, for instance, you had to, this is a nice small screwdriver blade for that. Now in the center here, we have some extra needles that came with your machine. And we have a large spool cap. Now also on the machine is a smaller spool cap. So depending on how big, how what the diameter of your spools are, which one you would use. If you have one of those spools that has, uh, is just like a tube with no end caps, then you would use this, but you'd turn it around, poke this to, into the end of the tube of the thread and that helps keep the thread on the horizontal spool pin. That's what that's for. Put that right back on there. Then you have your bobbins, your extra bobbins. Now these are plastic class 15 bobbins. So when you get go to get more bobbins, make sure you get the kind that goes with your machine. It's a common kind of bobbin, plastic class 15. If you have old bobbins that are metal, class 15, don't use them in this machine. You want to use the plastic kind. You also have one bobbin that comes in your machine, <clears throat> and you also have the foot, the all-purpose foot, that comes with your machine here. That's the zigzag foot. Does It's for basic sewing is what that is. And, of course, that is easy to put on and take off. So that's your accessories that come with your Baby Lock Jazz 2. I hope that you found this video to be helpful. If you have, give us a thumbs up. If you have comments or questions, you can leave those in the area down below. We have lots of other videos on this machine and on other machines here on our Monoville YouTube channel. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.